very warm welcome you're watching the news with me anubhuti gaur let's take a look at what's making headlines while speaking in lucknow on the protest against the amended citizenship act that turned violent in up pm modi said that people who damage the public property and were involved in violence in the name of protest in up should introspect if what they did was right he also added that protecting our educational institutes and respecting our teachers is our responsibility President Kovind and PM Modi along with senior BJP leaders pay tribute to former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee on his 95th birth anniversary at Atal Samadhi Sthal today. PM Modi later launched the Atal Bhujal Yojana, a scheme aimed at improving groundwater management through community participation. Modi also unveiled a statue of Vajpayee in Lucknow's Lok Bhavan as a tribute. Over 2 dozen people in Uttar Pradesh's Rampur have been sent notices by the administration seeking recovery for the damage caused in the violence last week during protests against the new citizenship law. Nearly 28 people have received notices seeking a recovery of rupees 14.86 lakhs for the damage caused to the public property. The crackdown comes after Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath promised action on the protesters. BSP Supremo Mayawati today asked the Uttar Pradesh government to conduct a thorough probe into the deaths during the anti-citizenship law protest and help the innocent victims. She said that the maximum number of deaths during the CA and NRC protests were in UP. Mayawati said on Tuesday that the center should allay concerns of the Muslims over the CA and the proposed NRC. The Delhi police said today that the fake messages of police shutting down coaching centers in Mukherjee Nagar in North Delhi were circulating on the social media and a case has been filed. The police also said that they would write to the Twitter to take down a video that apparently shows a police officer warning students and asking them to leave immediately. Chief Sena MLA Aditya Thakre's security cover has been upgraded to Z category. While cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar's security cover has been downgraded, his ex-category security has been removed. An official also added that the former Rajya Sabha member will be, however, given a police escort whenever he steps out of his house. After a month of forming the government, Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre today gave credit to NCP Chief Shahid Pawar. He said, "We are looking at how we can produce more in less land." Shahid Pawar has taught us to raise farm productivity and also how to make a government with less seats. Remember, the BJP emerged as the single largest party and, along with the Sena, comfortably passed the majority mark. But the two parties fell out over power sharing. A gold medalist at the Jadavpur University today registered a protest against the Citizenship Amendment Act by tearing a copy of the law on stage while receiving her degree. She also shouted, "In Kalam Zindabad, and we won't show our papers as a mark of a protest." Jadavpur University students yesterday did not allow Governor Jagdeep Dhankar into the university as a protest against the controversial law. That's all in this bulletin. Thanks for watching. The news and updates will continue on the other side.